Today I will show you how to make a battery connector for the 60 volt lithium ion lawn mower battery. Let's get started. So I've got this snapper 60 volt battery that is designed for using with snapper garden tools like lawn mower, chainsaw, leaf blower, things like that. But I've got none of those. So the purpose of this connector is that it allows me to connect to other devices that run on 60 volts besides what it's designed for. I'm going to use it to run my electric scooter and my electric bike. For this project, the entire plate is based on a piece of laminated press wood. On the battery, we got a positive and a negative terminal. So I align the positive and negative terminals on a piece of wood and use a jigsaw to cut two slots. In order to connect to the terminal of the battery, you need to have some metal bars that are small enough to insert into the hole of the battery terminal. But these metal bars also have to be thick enough in order to handle the high voltage and the current going from the battery. The metal bars I use come from washing machine. There's a metal ring that's used to tighten the rubber boot to the machine. I have no clue what it is called. But it's perfect to make the metal contact for the battery. You can also use aluminum bars salvaged from aluminum heatsink. That's what I use for my other projects. But this one is galvanized steel and it's a little bit more sturdy than the aluminum bars. Next, I bent the metal bars in an L shape, insert it in the slots of the piece of wood, and drill a hole through. Then I use rivets to tighten everything together. If you don't have rivets, you can also use regular screws. Rivets are better in this case because the head of a rivet is flat, therefore it doesn't stick out too much and gets the whole thing loose. Rivets also look cleaner and they don't get loose easily. I use XT60 connectors for my electric scooters and my electric bike. So I have to make XT60 connector coming from this contraption. So I crimp the wire to a round connector and then secure it to the rivet. Then I just solder an XT60 connector to the other end of the wire and voila, we got a connector for the 60 volt battery. To secure the wooden plate to the battery, I use a couple of magnets salvaged from an old hard drive. This one is a smaller 2.5 inch laptop hard drive. These magnets are extremely strong. Then I use a double sided tape to stick one magnet to the battery and the other magnet to the wooden plate. It holds on very strong and doesn't come loose easily. I have to use quite a bit of force in order to disengage these magnets. I can still insert the battery to my charger with no problem and the magnets stay clear out of the way of the charger. Right, moment of truth here. Let's plug it in. Okay, let's plug it in. And let's switch it on. Okay. Turn on. You hear the relay click. So far, so good. It's working. Next video, I will show you my test runs on the electric scooter and the electric bike. I'll see you next time.